Hi, we're Dan and Casey Stosbury, current owners of SY Hindsight, the Juneau 64 sailing yacht. Today we want to take you on a little bit of a tour to show you what she looks like inside, though I do want to preface this video with the fact that we literally moved 45 boxes of our personal gear out today. So this is what the interior, the exterior, so this is what the exterior looks like with none of the cushions on. Oh, and the door open. <laughs> Have nice, lots of storage for stuff on deck, line bags, helm stations. Beautiful carbon inlay wheels. Two shore uh, power stations. There's the VSAT power dome. Flagpole. Here's the Williams tender. Really nice cleats, pop up cleats, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like with all the cushions on. So, this is a view of the cockpit with all the cushions on and with one of the tables down. Both of the tables do go down, and I also want to show you that the jammers are all clearly marked with what they do. Even the buttons for the winches on both sides. You have extra raymarine strings there, which are great. Shows you what everything is. And also on the helm stations. Tells you what everything does. So it's not a surprise. It's just huge and spacious and beautiful. Hello, we're here in the saloon and just to wanted to give you a sense of how large it is inside here. I'm a little over 1.8 meters tall and I still have plenty of room. I've never had a problem hitting my head and it's just a really huge amount of space. The table here is an oversized dining table. It has the built-in home station there. Or all of the hanging lockers are open for storage, other than this one has the Fusion sound system, and then this one holds the Bose sound system. We do have the TV and the skylights, as you can see, offer lots and lots of room. There's also the very large skylight here in the center. And all of the windows on the boat have both shades and also bug screens. The sofa has storage underneath. The sat system is housed actually in the back behind here. And then underneath here are all the appliances for the galley. And then this is food storage. You have an excessive amount of food storage under the floor. And then here in the, is the main bilge. The generator is underneath here. And then you have access to the engine room three spaces. This companionway comes up. There is a door in this cabin and then there's also a door in the master bath. While we're in this cabin, this is the bunk room. I apologize. This is the rest of our stuff that we're still trying to move off the boat. Um, and then this is storage and then down here is the washer and dryer. Moving into the galley, we have the wine fridge, the tray that comes up for service, 
you have two sinks, one and two, storage all back here, storage here and here, and then down here, a bunch of storage as well. All of these lockers up here contain the china and wine glasses, all stored properly. Never have anything break out of there. And then you do also have the trash can here and the dishwasher here. We have two sinks, or you also have two ovens. You have your traditional gas oven and three burner gas range, which is gimbaled. And then you also have the electric multi-combo oven. Over here, you have some storage, drawers and whatnot. More storage, it's a lot of storage. These are two pantry cabinets. And then you have your fridge, freezer drawer and fridge. Here is the day head. And behind this door, you have all of the breakers and electrical stuff. And the starter batteries for both the generator and the uh, engine. Welcome to the owner's cabin. This is one of the biggest owner's cabins you'll find. It's full, a width of the boat across. You have a nice king size bed. Your stern thruster is actually housed under here along with all of your Raymarine brain. We have a nice TV fitting it on the wall. And some of the other great features are I had a instrument uh, display put in here so when you're under sail at night you can see what's going on. We also have an HDMI connection for your computer or whatever device that connects to the TV and also your Iridium Go satellite is right here also. Storage, we use it for bottles but it can be used for any kind of other storage. Two very generous two very generous Lee sized lockers and lots of drawers for storage of your clothes. There is also storage underneath on the floor in the bilges here it's dry storage, so really nice. You have all kinds of storage. It's really, this boat has an amazing amount of storage. You have your AC independent, one for each cabin. Now let's move into the master bath. Each bath has its own uh, bidet it's option. And they are all electric freshwater toilets except for the front crew cabin toilet which is the only seawater in case all the other ones break or you lose your electric electricity. Okay, heading back into the salon over here we have the sat phone we have two lamps we also have fans as you can see installed in all of the boat this is your port forward cabin it has a very generously sized oversized queen bed a lot of hanging storage, drawers, and then its own head. And then back around to the starboard side of the boat is a mirrored guest cabin, again with storage above storage and below. below. And deep storage underneath the bed also. This cabin is a bit different in that it has a pass through to the forepeak. The so forepeak can be used as crew quarters. We actually used it as a technical area, and it is very spacious, can hold two crew, one, two, or just one, and that can flip up and give them extra storage. Its head is right underneath there, and this is an extra Dometic freezer that we had put in so that we could store extra stuff for long passages, because we used to do a lot of longer passages. Now, this has its independent access up the stairs through the hatch, and then it also has a built-in shower, sink. Okay, so it's a little bit windy today. Apologize for the wind noise, but you can see this is the top of the coach roof, the hydraulic bank, and boom. And we have right now the canvas covers and the slide on the sails, but it is an unfurling main. All of the lines run down through the console back to the home stations. Large extendable spinnaker pole extends three different lengths. Uh, it's also used.
is to bring the tender up on deck. Two different sets of trucks that we have, one high, one low for passenger anchor. High for when you're sitting at anchor and you can then open these windows. Two electric curling curlers for your state sail and your pinwheel. And then you also have a uh, halyard for the code zero. It's a 50 kilogram anchor with 125 meters of chain and a very powerful quick windlass. This is actually a locker where you have your control for your windlass and storage. And a nice seat. We have brand new one inch blue, navy blue dock lines that match the, make a nice complement to the boat. And these cleats are really cool because they pop up and down. Very easy, very conveniently. Nice. So we have access down into the garage here, or the lazarette. Usually this would be used for dinghy storage. We put our dinghy on deck, so we have all this huge amount of space for toys and sails and various things. And then behind each one of these is a whole bunch of storage, both below and on the sides. So it's an incredible amount of storage back here and it's really, really helpful. Nice swim platform, ladder included, and various other things. So this is behind the port helm station. Behind the starboard helm station, we have a grill and plancha. Hydraulic backstand booming, also again labeled so you know exactly what you're doing. The reason we don't have this one platform down here is so this is our Williams jet tender. It's super fast and really fun. We have a lot of fun with the lagoon around here and, and most importantly your fishing rod holders and then it comes with two deep sea fishing rods, which are really fun catching big tunas and mahis and we've had a lot of great fish on this boat. Yeah, a lot of good fish. And then you have um, dual shore cables, one for the AC, one for the main power, and then under here is your gas butane locker for the stove. So, we hope you enjoyed this tour of Hindsight and we look forward to seeing you in Sea One. Bye!